Hi, my name is Mara Wilden. I'm a freelance picture editor. Um, I edit showreels for actors and um, yeah, my typical job is that I get in touch, actors get in touch with me and um, ask, send me all their stuff or meet me with all their stuff and we look through their materials and then they sort of tell me what they want and what they need it for, how long they want it to be and um, yeah, then they go off and I put it all together in a nice sort of reel of two to three minutes and then they can upload it onto their website or onto Spotlight or other casting sites and send it to, out to agents and casting directors and yeah, I don't really have a typical week. Um, some weeks I got lots of work and I'm really busy and I work through nights and stuff like that and other weeks I'm, it's quite relaxing. <laughs> I, can, I can go and make friends for teas and coffees all the time. So um, yeah, it varies a lot. <laughs> it kind of depends what I'm doing. Um, like a couple of weeks ago, like about a month ago, I had about five jobs I did sort of um, beside each other. And um, that was absolutely manic because they all obviously want it as soon as possible. So I was doing, like I was working through nights and um, days and weekends and stuff like that so but that's it's good fun and once you're done you feel like you've accomplished something and um, at the moment I'm just doing at the moment I'm just doing one so it's quite nice because it's quieted down a bit but this one's quite a big job because he's got he's done lots and lots of stuff um, which is good good for my portfolio but it's a lot of work <laughs> the good things are that it's very flexible and I've got a lot of time to, because I also do some acting, so I've got a lot of time to sort of concentrate on that as well and sort of whilst I'm editing and whilst things are sort of rendering or I make the DVDs, it always takes a lot of time of just waiting around for it to convert and stuff like that. So it gives me a lot of time also to sort of just go on the web and apply for jobs and things like that. So that's quite good, that's the positive, that it's very flexible and um, yeah, you can just meet friends for lunch or something like that and then go home and um, carry on. Um, the negatives are that you don't always have work and that sometimes you have big jobs like two weeks, a month ago I had five and that was great for money and then other days you haven't got that much so you have to really you have to really see how you sort of spread your finances because one month you might have loads and the next month you might not so I wanted to always go into acting, but then I got I got um, taken at a drama school in LA, and a week before I was meant to leave for LA, I didn't get my visa, and I was underage at the time, so my parents wouldn't let me go, because <laughs> I just wanted to up and leave, and I didn't care about visa. But yeah, they said no. So then I kind of had to find something else to do for a few months before um, I could possibly get my visa, because it was all very sort of short notice. And um, then I found out about this um, filmmaking course, which was in London. And um, then I was like, yeah, okay, well, it's only three months, so I might as well just sort of go and do it and sort out the visa bits in between. And then I went and did it, and it was actually really fun. <laughs> and we were out shooting our own films and editing and all that. And it was, it was really good, and I made some really, really good friends. And then I went back to Germany. And kind of decided to just do some internships at production companies and so I got into Studio Hamburg and was on the production team and then on the camera team and just did that for about a year just on different productions and then I carried on studying filmmaking at the SAE in Hamburg which also involves directing, editing, camera work, um, writing your own stuff, that kind of thing and then when you are finished you kind of get chucked into the real world and you've learned all this stuff and you don't, you're like, ah, what do I do now? So then I sort of decided to go back into acting and did that for a bit, but always did a bit of filming on the side and produced a film last year. And then through, the, through knowing a lot of actors, because I did a lot of classes and courses in the acting, I know a lot of actors. And a friend of mine said to me, oh, you know, can you help me edit my showreel? Because she knew that I was, I was sort of doing that as well. So I started doing hers and then another friend asked me if I could do hers as well. And then I thought, well, I might as well set up a little business for myself. 
And um, yeah, so far I've done, I've set it up um, only about four or five months ago and I've done about eight to nine share reels since. So that's all right and it's instant good money, so. <laughs> Very good. And um, what would you recommend for someone who wanted to do what you do? Mm. First of all, I would recommend to go to film school, even if it's just a couple of months. Like lots of film schools offer short courses, or you know, also evening classes. You can do evening editing classes at film schools, and um, there's lots. Especially in London, there's lots and lots you can do. There's the London Metropolitan School, um, the New York Film Academy, SAE Institute. I mean, there's loads of courses that do like one year or a couple of months, and that's really it's enough because the industry develops so quickly. Um, if you do a class, you learn a lot and then you just go on and sort of do it yourself and you, you learn a lot. And um, yeah, I'd recommend do that. Maybe do a couple of internships on, on production or camera or, or whatever because it's always good to know that side as well. If you're an editor, you need to have an eye for, for the camera work or things like that. And if you, especially if you do picture editing as in short films or films, um, it's always good to be on set and to go on set and to see how they film it because a lot of the time they want your input as an editor as well. They want to know, will this work in the edit? And then you'll have to be able to say, yes, I think this would work or maybe angle the camera like this and that would look a bit better. Um, so the directors and, and um, DPs, they work really closely with the editors because um, the editors usually have the eye for the, the cut in the end. So yeah, do do lots of that and then just get involved. <laughs> just get into it. Very good.